Taylor, you got Memphis coming up this week. Um, talk about what you guys have to do defensively against a team like them. We just got to keep practicing hard. It always goes down to practice, practice, practice. That's how I can really say just practice. If we practice good, we'll be ready. How much do you know about them uh, thus far, you know, in terms of this team here? Um, we know they have a good team, very good team, good quarterback, good running back, good receivers, good O-line, big physical, so we just got to match. Is it the success you've had at practice these last few weeks that you think has elevated your guys' game the way that it has? Oh, yes, sir. Practice. I mean, we just big emphasis on preparation. If we practice good, we play good. How much confidence defensively are you guys playing with right now? I mean, you know, basically – have only allowed three points, I think, the last six quarters of football. How much confidence are you guys playing with? Well, the whole team is playing with great confidence, not just the defense. It's a team thing. So, I mean, the team is playing great. Do you feel that building, though, with each week? Like, I mean, it seems like you are getting better as the season goes along. Yeah, I feel as though confidence is growing. I feel as though everybody is playing their role, doing it good. Everybody playing fast. So, yeah. Ask the coach about this. Memphis is a team that has had great success at home. Um, you guys have gone into some other venues and, and played pretty well. Talk about the, the approach on the road um, as opposed to as a home game, you know, when you go into a place like that. Um, we go into a place like that, we just know we got to do the little things right. Everything matters. Just take care of the ball. Force turnovers. <laughs> got to get the offense in good field position. So, yeah. It's 11 a.m. local kickoff there. Do you look forward to a morning kickoff, or is that kind of weird? I mean, honestly, it doesn't really change anything, honestly. I know Coach Houston told us just make sure we get rest this week leading up into the game, so we'll be ready and focus. They went forward a bunch on fourth down this week, and uh, defensively, what are you looking for on fourth down? On the fourth down, I know a lot of times when we were looking at the film, it was fourth and short. So I know we just got to be ready to stop the run. You had a big stop on that a couple weeks ago. I think it was too late. Yeah, yes, sir. I mean, something that could change the game this week, fourth down. Yeah, yes, sir. It could give it would give our offense a great field position after a big stop. Two sudden changes you guys had to deal with this week, and I yeah. believe it was two three and outs. Might have let up one first. It was, down only, it was only one uh, three point. It was a field goal. I yeah, exactly but y'all got point. a three and out on yeah. that too, yes, and they were already in field goal range. How does that build y'all's confidence, knowing no matter what adversity you guys face, you're up for the challenge? I want to say it's, it's a great cop, great job, Coach Houston, and, um, Coach Harris did this week, um, last week on the practice. We did a lot of sudden change, so and practice is just you know practice. You've faced a number of different kinds of teams now. It seems like you guys are able to adjust and, and take your, your scheme into, into various venues. And talk about the comfort level on this defense as you, as you get better and you get more used to each other as the season goes on. I want to say the comfort level is, is very high. I want to say, like, everybody's just playing with high confidence, playing fast, you know, no thinking. It's no thinking at all. We're just playing fast and flying around, okay. having fun. Um, how well have you guys gelled, you know, from the start of the season, game one, all of a sudden to now where you guys have been playing exceptionally well on defense? Talk about that chemistry, especially up front. Yeah, I really say the chemistry comes from just like this summer, just like being around each other all day, every day. You know, last year, unfortunately, it was COVID, so we really didn't have time to really bond. I feel as though the team is really bond this year. What would it mean as a younger guy to help bring a, a six win to some of the older guys in the team that have been looking for that? Uh, I mean, my roommate um, nights before the game is Bruce Bevins, so we always talk about just, like, how much it means to him. So I'm always going to lay it out all out on the line for him, for the guys.